gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Let's do this. Rappers, sometimes my rappers will fall off. I a rapper's career is about as unpredictable as the music industry itself. Thanks okay. to platforms like SoundCloud and TikTok, these past few years we've seen thousands of new artists blow up seemingly overnight. However, with the rap scene so saturated now and more music being released today than ever before, just as fast as these artists rise is a lot of times just as fast as they fall. Well, True. God, so many... I, I can't keep up anymore. I don't bother keeping up. I just listen to what's the test I download I don't even... I go to, I don't know many of the rappers, I don't know their names, just the song or the beef place and I'm like, ah, I know that song, but now I don't know this, I don't even know the artist. For some, the fall from grace is rather quiet, disappearing off the grid or back to the farm. As we're about to see for others, though, it's often quite difficult to accept this inevitable fate, leading to them doing whatever they can to pay their bills. I just want to ask Whoa. a question, um, are you young guy? Can you turn around? I mean, I think y'all are put that boy together. Oh, you, you, must have, you, have, you must have fell off. That's what's the right story. 11 11, shout out to you. I wish you many monies for many moons. Today, you always hear discussion about if a rapper fell off or why a rapper fell off. However, nobody ever talks about what happens after a rapper's career declines in the spotlight for oh, Yeah, yeah this is kind of. Um Making the a successful guy was musician in 2024 is honestly extremely hard, and I applaud anybody who's able to pull it off. With that being said, there's someone I want to give a shout out to, Lee Yachi. People thought that guy would fall off, but that guy has been, he's been building himself. Like, I think he created a click around himself or a business or like his friends or whatnot. He built them up with himself. So, kudos, shout out to Lady Yachi, man. What he did was beautiful. Okay? What he did was beautiful. And the point of this video is not to expose or necessarily call out any of these artists. All good things yeah, have to come to an end. There's really nothing wrong with working here. So, do play what kind of thing? Is that what want to go around to? Is this a personal? Is it habit? Normal 9 to 5 and making money legally to pay your bills. So, while it is easy to call the knife at these no longer popular rappers such as Young Jock, who is out here driving for rideshare apps, along with also appearing on the yeah. VH1 show Love and Hip Hop, usually another sign you fell off. I actually respect that way more though than some of these guys like Smoke Burp or YBN Namir, who, as we'll see in a second, have resorted to scamming what little fans they have left. Scammed by YB in the mirror for two thousand dollars. He basically agreed like he was gonna pay me my money back. I was the first one to get my money back once he gets paid or once he gets money in. He has winning for that never scam. Oh, sorry, YB, YB, YB. You know the young. I really click. I said YB. What YB? Sounds familiar. Yeah, for two thousand dollars. He basically agreed like he was gonna. I guess I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on. Whoa. <laughs> Pay me my money back. I was gonna be the first one making my money back once he gets paid or once he gets money in. He was winning for that and never got no response, so pretty much was good, like charge it to the game. The lavish lifestyle of a famous rapper appears to be filled with million dollar record contracts, mansions, chains, watches, girls, and designer clothes. However, the truth is nothing lasts forever. But before we take sure, a look at the true sure, life sure. of a former artist and the constant struggle to maintain that rich rapper image despite up to their knees in pack taxes like Lil Pump, first I gotta tell you about this the one game which yeah. was the best time to cozy up at home with them. First family, wait, wait, wait. Joya Lucas made a diss track, okay, he used the guy's song, sent some to him, can't remember how. Yeah. Mobile game you can really immerse yourself in, and I think I found that perfect game. This hit mobile Bro. real collection RPG played by over 80 million players around the world is not only yeah, it game, it but it also yeah, includes over games. 800 unique champions to collect and customize Last before taking your bosses on the battlefield. The graphics are honestly really good. I was obsessed with quality time time on your mobile device. Like time, if you're into collecting uh, characters and simply having a great time with mobile games, be sure more. to hit the link in the description or scan this QR code on screen to download Raid Shadow Legends today. As we enter the middle of winter, Raid has no shortage of icy cold champions to add to your squad. My favorite's gotta be Warlum Frost King, not just because he looks super cool, but also because he is great for early and mid players and needs extra help in the arena. Or there's Sir Nicholas of the Sacred Order. As a void legendary champion, Sir Nicholas is already top tier with his skill 
skill multipliers allowing him to hit extremely hard, as well as with the secondary skill of placing a valuable shield based on damage dealt. But along with these awesome characters, Raid is also here with a massive present for the holidays. The Cursed City is one of the most beautiful features of the game. complete, including Sunday, you to take on two bosses at the same time. If you haven't started playing Raid Shadow Legends yet, then what are you waiting for? Okay. Click my link in the description. Download Shadow Legends complete. I want to receive two epic champions only available via my link. The first is Light Sworn, a strong epic champion, and the second is Epic Juliana after reaching level 15. Once you're in and crushing enemies, come find me under the username 1111 with three N's. You can then join my clan and I'll catch you guys on the battlefield. Seeing as the fact that rappers have the biggest egos and most simply couldn't let people see them outworking a 9 to 5, this raises the question, what do rappers do after they fall off? Well, in order to answer that, it's important for us to first define what it actually means to yeah, rap it's 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 because there's definitely levels <laughs> <It's laughs> to it. To fall off in rap music means to fall off the radar either due to not releasing any material, releasing crap, or selling out. A lot of fans will tell you that guys like DaBaby, Chance the Rapper, or Roddy Rich fell off. However, while yes, I would agree they've de- No, 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 come on, I like Chance Rapper already they, they didn't fall off come on man. I they're not releasing new materials like they're just chilling. It's not because I did I don't know, but I'm still fell off. Pretty, as evident through their recent album sales, they're still raking in millions of dollars each year from the massive hits in their catalog and from still playing shows around the world. Ah. Hey yo. What happened to your leg? I was at the top. And I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> listeners, the baby is definitely not stressing. With the certified diamond record, I can guarantee you that Roddy Rich will not be driving for Uber anytime soon. What man? So when we talk about feed the streets, this dude got a oh, full this, diamond fork, knife and neck wow. in the fork. <laughs> <laughs> Same also goes for artists like B.O.B. who besides his flat earth theory, no one has honestly heard about in a decade. But yet with smash hits like Airplanes, Headband, Nothing On You, Strange Clouds, and Magic, I can assure you he's doing just fine financially. Yeah, Soldier true, Boy true, despite true. his music uh, career. Especially with what um, Apple Music and... What they call them again? What they are doing? They pay. I don't know, I didn't really pay them that much. How much did they make for a million streams? I think I need Apple Music a million streams it generated what's it generated. And I think it's based on where it's played. Let's say West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, North Africa, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Latin America, East Asia. Like I, I think the, more, the profit is based on which region of the planet plays the music. It's based on how much you make a million or something. And the dumps is still raking it in from his iconic hits. I so that number, awesome. it was like a subscription, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you could text it or call yeah. it, and, and you know what I'm saying? So I'll probably make like 100000 a month off of that, just people calling that number. Even these rappers with only one hit to their name, oh, yeah, 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 or CJ, but... Sorry, um, I'm posting a lot, I'm posting a lot, I'm posting a lot. I'm posting a lot. I know CJ Boy made music from those um, ringtone whatever thing. I mean, made money from ringtones. They could literally be set for life off Mo Bamba and Whoop D if they've managed their money well. Those were two massively successful mainstream hits. So while it's not like you'll catch the baby out serving chicken at your local fast food spot, you may, however, spot a much smaller artist such as Icy Twat who is called out for working at Bojangles. Again, though, there's nothing wrong with grinding and getting paid, especially when you consider just how little artists actually make from streaming revenue. To give you a better idea, spot oh, yeah, is Okay, past year. So you might immediately make it just oh come on. Well, if you don't really lost at least can pay monthly rent with the million three point zero zero five dollars per stream. Which while that makes it one of the highest paying streaming platforms, that still isn't even a penny. For example, here's Pro Era member Desi Hines' twenty twenty three Spotify stats. After working closely with Joey Badass in the past, Desi has kinda disappeared these past few years. With a total of five hundred and fifty thousand streams in twenty twenty three, if we do the math real quick, that's only about two thousand dollars. Yeah, there's still Apple Music and the other streaming sites too, but I think you get the point. Where artists bring in yeah, the biggest percentage of their income is through ticket sales and merchandise. But at the same time, if you're a rapper who fell off like Smoke Perp, nobody will want to come to your shows or buy your merch. <laughs> Which then leads to clips like this that go viral for the wrong reasons, only fueling that fallen off narrative even more. The moment you sign to a record label, you no longer own your music, and they are now taking huge cuts yeah. out of your profit. Yeah, we are. 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 Yeah,
Sorry, I had one up to uh, even Snoop Dogg. I thought, so, is it 23 stream? Listen, that in billions of stream, but he only made just after a uh, record limit, they yeah, share tax and everything. What's what time? Extremely is? tempting to young rappers. The music industry is a very easy trap to get sucked into. Here's what motherfuckers don't understand about labels you're taking their money. Tarantino. You're not gonna make a cent until everything you do Tarantino. pays them back that $10 million. Typically, when a rapper signs a record contract, they are given a budget in the form of an advance payment. This advance can be millions yeah. of dollars. However, it is not free money, but rather so a that loan that the to recoup the revenue brought in from the artist, with the intent Before to pay for everything an artist needs to create their album, including general living expenses, studio time, music videos, etc. In many cases, though, so these young rappers don't budget their album and instead get carried away blowing their money on cars and jewelry, basically living like rock stars. But then the problem comes when they finally do finish their album and. I like all these jewelry places like Icebox are cool. They always get to help. <laughs> bring your money, bring your money, we'll help you. Yo, and they will hear you, you god, they're your best friends. When you call, ah, uh, they're your best friends. And they're spending the money and they're like, oh, you just bought it, come on, check this out, we kept this for you. We kept this for you, especially for you. Try this out, try this out. Ah, uh, this guy bought this one last time. I took, I took you once, I right? You can't be the only one rocking this, you have to rock yours also. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, it over the label for release only to watch the sales come back much lower than expected. Thus, they Ooh. refuse to spend more money on your promotion. When this happens, management will also likely pull back on the number of releases you can drop if your new songs are consistently yeah, And this. as we've seen on countless occasions, this leads to. Free me from this label. Now what is that? Come on, you signed it. Why are you signing? Why did. What's on this guy? If this guy, if you sign the record label, I don't want to sign the app. Come on, I need a key. They don't put a gun to your head and when you sign it. But fuck all this. If it was the hair, early 2000s, uh, um, 99 grand. But now, I was completely lying. New Skype, New Skype, I don't know that. Smoke Pop. Hmm. One of those tattoo guys that tattoo their faces, right? But designer, I don't designer. When everybody said, oh, my record label's controlling me and I can't get out of this deal, bro, the record label's sitting back like, wait a minute, you didn't do anything. Your shit flopped. The shit $10 million flopped. we gave you was for you to make a dope project that wasn't going to flop. You already well, broke your you contract. This. So now you think we're going to let you go away and just get out of this deal while still owing us money? Enough money. No. Why? Because the labels will decide they no longer want to work with an artist and then drop them. And while artists still have some money coming in from their past catalog, usually at this point it's nowhere near enough to fund that lavish lifestyle they had been living. You'll often hear rappers claim that it was their decision to go independent, which while that could be part of it, at the same time these major labels have the power and influence in the industry, and if we're being honest, if they really wanted you, they would have dropped a bigger bag. One thing y'all gotta know is now, your boy is independent, bruh. I'm fully independent, just me. Oh, this is this guy's car. I ain't get yeah, dropped on my label, no crazy, one up, one up, yeah. nothing like that. Basically, me and my label, we just weren't seeing like eye to eye and shit, so... So... Uh, <sighs> I'm gonna have to... Wow, this guy did this. Everybody knew you, 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 what the fuck? This oh, leaves, I claim you would have been bought for this new crowd. Have also been quickly adding a new this new time. condo is due, the lease payment for that new sports car, lawyer fees, accountant fees, and then of course we can't forget taxes. Today, given how easy Whoa. it is to record yourself straight... Wait! I think there's some, someone that said that it, it's better you don't buy a lease. Many of all these things. And I feel these people, all these artists don't lease. I don't know if I'm a financial, I'm just saying. They don't lease, they buy out track. I'm high of these other services. They prep buying out track, they don't lease. I have to lease by year, lease something. I think that's what they did in America. I have to lease the car, don't buy the car out track. Why? Then you're not gonna buy four or five cars. Why? How can you drive? How, the, how are you driving four or five cars? Is the one more they want to the one when they want to I ain't know how to record these songs, I ain't know how to be at the studio doing all these things. From your bedroom, we've seen thousands of new artists blow up off one or two songs on SoundCloud or TikTok. 
However, with the music industry now more saturated than ever, it's time to answer the question what happens after hey. the 15 minutes of fame is up? Route 1 is to deny the fact that they fell off and continue with their career as if nothing happened, or Route 2 is to accept that they had a good run and peacefully depart onto something new. Let's start with the first one. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with continuing to make music because you simply love making it and for the fans who still listen, whether that be a million or a few hundred, however, there are a few clear signs that a rapper's career has rapidly declined. Hey, all this f***ing money to just come here and stand like this. All the f***ing shit. Turn the f*** up. You are not too cool to jump. Turn the f*** up. Along with significantly low album sales, this will the also come a significant yeah. decrease in the size of crowds at their shows. One of the best ways to judge an artist's true popularity is through physical ticket sales, because an artist like Smoke Perk like on Instagram, looks like how many people will really come to his show? For this reason, you'll often see struggling artists instead shift their focus to overseas fans and try and rake in some money there while they still can. Since they typically only perform there once every few years, the venues sell out, which while that's great and fans seem to enjoy the performances, you just have to remember that an artist like Icy Narco, who is posting and flexing about his sold out dates in France couldn't even sell half the amount of tickets here in America. So then you'll begin to see them take smaller bookings such as frat parties and birthday events. In an effort to stay yeah. relevant, another what tactic this one rappers try is to hop on whatever wave and sound is currently trending at the moment, such as smoke perp clearly biting yeet. But while some are to stay and milk whatever last dollar they can out of their music career, others instead choose to leave on a more peaceful note. One of the rare cases where a former rapper becomes even more popular in the music space after rapping is Joe Budden, who following a total of 8 albums decided to officially retire in 2018 to focus solely on his new career. Yeah, the other time about this Joe Budden guy is that he's one of those ungrateful guys that hit him in them at sink, or is it Dr. Dre? Even though they helped him make the way he is, and what not and what not, they created so many opportunities for him. I think, is it the one? Stop right now, right? I'm wrong, right? Is it the one? To podcast host. The same goes with Trinidad James, who after blowing up with his debut hit All Gold Everything was later dropped by his label in 2014. But now, along with landing a few acting roles, Trinidad James is also a host of the Full Size Run podcast on Complex. I just feel that if niggas was gonna stop me from doing my thing in the game, they would have been stopped me. And if you were gonna kill me, you should have killed me five years ago. Once one of the hottest rappers out thanks to his smash billboard number one, This Is Why I'm Hot, Mims. the second album, Mims, chose to put the mic down and move into the technology field. A few years later, launching this new app called Recordgram with the goal to help artists and producers contact each other with no unnecessary middlemen. Along with opening up his own restaurant in Houston and winning the Good Morning America title for Ultimate Burger Spot, former rapper Bun B has also been teaching a hip-hop and religious course at Rice University since 2011. This class, Religion and Hip-Hop Culture, offers an opportunity to explore the connections between religion and hip-hop in ways that open us to seeing our world differently. Ice Ice Baby mm. rapper Vanilla Ice has been buying and flipping lakefront properties in South Florida for the past 15 oh, years. Yeah, he's been a show on HGTV yeah. called The Vanilla Ice Project, which ran for a successful nine straight seasons. Khalees, the rapper yeah. in the 2003 Smash Milkshake, has since moved onto a farm where she's apparently found liberation with the 30 plus animals she cares for, while also still collecting checks from the countless movies and shows her song is featured in, such as Dodgeball and Mean Girls. Although Lil Xan, best known for his SoundCloud hit Betrayed back in 2017, still puts out music every few months. It's also great to see that despite his fall in the music scene, Lil Xan has turned his life around and is now completely sober. I've been sober now for oh, a year and a half. That's good, man. Bravo. Yes, but while not every former rapper is smart enough to develop an app like Moons, nor do I see bravo, having bravo. the patience to care for a farm, how do these other I'm rappers make sir. money? It'll be hard for rappers to land regular jobs after their music career fizzles out. So instead, one of the most common and easiest so bags you'll see an artist desperate for money take is to begin posting promo all over social media. From posting and tagging clothing brands such as Fashion Nova, for example, to spamming reposts and hundreds of advertisements on their stories every single hour. Then you get artists like Smoke Perp, who after I was curious about how much he's charging for a feature these days, basically started begging me to buy one in my DMs. Now, to be honest... Ooh, can I... Should I say they are hustling or no? 
I actually like a lot of Smoke Perp's music. I probably would have really tried to work with him for a verse. That is, if I hadn't seen the numerous posts and videos about the nightmare that ensues securing a Perp feature. Anyways, we go back and forth. We agreed on him sending me just the vocals mm -hmm. separately. Uh huh. He never sends them. And who knows how many of these other SoundCloud rappers are out here scamming what used to be their loyal fans just for a few hundred bucks. Fans agree to pay these rappers to hop on their song and send them the money, only to be ghosted by them and never hear anything back. However, there's definitely other ways these rappers get money too. Driving for Uber Eats and DoorDash is actually pretty common, especially since these rappers don't have to show their face delivering food, along with some also becoming truck drivers such as former Houston rapper Lil Chuck. Something awesome. like this allows them to avoid getting called out such as Young Jock and Roscoe Dash have been, both of them going viral after multiple people claim to see them driving for Uber and Lyft. As an entrepreneur, it's important to have multiple sources of income. The Lyft is no exception to creating multiple sources of income. There's nothing wrong with driving Lyft. Working for call centers or remote jobs from home is another frequent route many go to avoid showing their face. Because while again there's nothing wrong with working at Walmart, as we saw with this post that went viral last year allegedly showing Ugly God working there. Despite Ugly God himself saying it was photoshopped, the picture sp all over social media as fans got a good laugh, many believing that his rap money had truly dried out. Similar to Bun B, some rappers trying to get into the food and restaurant business such as Blueface with his soul food spot Blues Fish and Soul, or another SoundCloud rapper Comethazine who owns multiple subway locations. I be smart that I still got a like, I got a couple businesses already. That's dope. Yeah. Dang, you got two subways already? Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. And, and you're didn't 20. fire nobody. That's you're smart. still working itself. People, people are always do some artists go back to college or finish. <laughs> to me, only food food um, branches, outlets, or whatever, the franchise or something like that, is always smart if you do it well. Because people are always going to eat. That's one like edible things. Things that finish, things that people eat and like, consume, consumable items are always they always sell out. I don't know why. It's like very very good business. If you're actually in the business. Consumables. Getting their was was online. Some like designer rent different properties yeah, that they own. Some like Blueface, Lil Pump, or the Island Boys go the OF route. Some like Fetty Wap go back to making Whoa. money in the streets. Or some continue to work behind the scenes in the industry, ghostwriting or producing. Then you'll get a rare case. Hey, some like. Hey, I don't know Fetty Wap. It's a singing song with Miley Cyrus. Um, <sighs> Fetty Wap is a singing song. I had something on the beats and make you whap. <sighs> Blue face, Lil Pump, or the Island Boys go the OF route. Some like Fetty Wap go back to making mm. money in the. You also sorry. see some artists go back to college or finish getting their sorry, degree yeah. online. Some like designer rent different properties out that they own. Some like Blueface, Lil Pump, or the Island Boys go the OF route. Some like Fetty Wap go back to making Blue money in the streets. Oh, or some continue yeah. to work behind the scenes in the industry, ghostwriting or producing. You get a rare case like T Grizzly, who after beginning to stream on Twitch now claims to make over 200k a month just playing GTA. So what I did was I created a server, a, G a Grand Theft Auto server. I get paid from the server because you, you gotta pay to get in. I stream it on Twitch, right? I get paid from Twitch. I take the Twitch videos that I already streamed, put it on YouTube, get paid from YouTube, to turn it down to 50 a week. But another very common and easy bag a lot of these guys take is signing up for Cameo, the website where you can pay celebrities to send you custom videos. Yeah, so for example, you could pay Riff Raff $100 to send you a personalized video for any occasion, which I actually went ahead and did, and it's about exactly what I expected. 11-11, uh, shout out to you. I wish you many money. Okay, yeah. 11 11, I think that's about the person I'm reacting to this video. After that, check it out. Many moons, Dan Tony on the wings for me and Holly. You know, it's all about how you're feeling. Because how you're feeling, yeah, right, Mama? <laughs> how you're feeling, <laughs> how you're going to go and how, you, right. how you're going to be treating the other. <laughs> if, you're, if you're sleepy, you're going to be sleepy. Dan Tony, wings. When you well spent, if you ask me. The journey of a rapper who is going off is about so much more than just reclaiming their lost fame. While some are lucky enough to sit back and enjoy their passive income, for others it's about rediscovering themselves and embracing change for a new life outside of music. Because one thing's for sure, although the music stops, the story keeps going. Like again, don't forget to check out my Raid Shadow Legends link in the description or scan- So, the video and the fact is life keeps ticking man, life keeps clocking. People don't wear your shit. What's going on with you doesn't affect every other person. If you think you're, it's all consuming, people don't care what's going on in your life. Come on, man. They have their own shit going on. 
I don't like the idea of letting people define what how you think about life. That that affected me for a long time. I know it affected me for a long time, but you realize that people don't really your life, man. They don't care about your life. So they are going through their own shit, man. They don't care about your life. They are going through their own struggles, pain, love, it. So your own insecurity is not really start your business. So once you realize that, once once you wake up and realize, what will click in your brain? The only thing you do, you do it for yourself. You know? Because for yourself, how you feel, how you look, how you think, how you act, it comes to yourself. Not for you. I'm preaching, sorry. I didn't mean to preach or wine. So let's get that. I, I, I can't tell how this rap house feel because you are once on top. Once you're on top, you get that kind of fame, power, popular um, money. I don't know how you feel when, when, when they all disappear. Okay? So people, 